Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, in this video we will talk about something really really important and I hope people will listen carefully. And this is my message actually to the Muslims before anyone else. Now I will play an old debate, which I don't really consider a debate, it's as much as a conversation with a teenage, his name is Osama Abdullah, who claimed that he have answers but each time he tried to prove something he proved his, you know, like his prophet and his religion is very, very bad religion. Uh, now, after this is how Muslims they play games. In order to get confirmation of something, you have to corner them for a few hours before you can get the answer. Now, this is what we had from Osama Abdullah after uh, chasing the answer. Listen carefully because this is what will be our topic. It's about the Prophet of Islam under the satanic control or the Satan control. And the argument now between me and him, it is for how long Muhammad was controlled by Satan. Uh, which means he don't deny that his Prophet was controlled by Satan. Now the problem is for how long. All right. So listen carefully and then we will go and show some uh, stories from the Islamic books. It is, it's been confirmed in the two Sahihs, that's Muslim and Bukhari, what he means, and others uh, from them, that the Prophet, peace be upon him, was bewitched by Labib ibn al from the, from the, from the Jews, and the period that he bewitched him in was 40 days. 40 days. Continue reading. Don't stop. It's not 40 days. You stopped. Please read. I will make you make victory. Read. It's not 40 days. Read it. 40 days. Why you stopped? Read your mic. Read. It says six months. Hello! Your mic! Read! Anyway, we will not play the debate. The debate is long. However, if, if it is uh, 40 days, or it is 6 months, or it is 1 year, or 3 years, as some they say, this is not really the problem. Because if Satan can control me for 1 day, he can control me for 2, he can control me for 10 years, he can control me forever. The question here is, uh, here is if the Muslims, and you heard him from his mouth, he is so happy, so happy to say that his prophet was under the control of Mr. Satan for 40 days. It's not my words. It is his words. He was so excited as you heard him. So, let us, for the sake of argument, say it is 40 days, not 6 months, or 1 year, or 3 years, or 10 years. When someone says to you that I have a prophet and whatever the prophet he say, I do take. And whatever the prophet he forbid, I do forbid. This is a chapter uh, 59 verse number 7 as you see in the screen. And this is the Muslim translation, not mine. You will see here. The source of Islam is not only in the Quran. Actually, Muhammad, he made it clear that he is the real source of the Quran. As an example, you will see many statements Muhammad, he said, it is against what the Quran said, but yet the Muslims, they follow what Muhammad said, not what the Quran said. Uh, and there is many examples of that. As an example, one of them, uh, the Quran says, if uh, someone is a gay, just insult him. Muhammad, he says, kill them. Which one the Muslims they follow? What Muhammad said, not what the Quran said, not what Allah said, because Muhammad, he is a real God, really. The Quran is just to serve. Uh, Muhammad, he can add verses, but it's not important for him to add verses. He just say whatever he want, because he made a license for him in, uh, himself in the Quran, when he said, claiming that this is coming from his God, and whatever the messengers has given you, take, and what he has Forbidden you, you refrain from. So he is the source of law in Islam. Whatever he allowed, it's allowed. 
It doesn't matter if it's fit or doesn't fit with Allah, no problem. That's it. Muhammad, he said, because Muslims, they believe that nothing of Muhammad act it was, except it was inspiration from God. So whatever he say, it is a must to follow and to obey. All right? So you have to take and obey. And whatever he forbid, you have to refrain from it. And for sure, if you don't refrain, the penalty is coming. It's depend on what else he's asking you to refrain from. So when, when an Abdul and Muslims agree that Muhammad was under black magic for 40 days, I'm not going to say six months, as I said. I'm not going to say one year, three years, five years. In those 40 days, the Quran, or the one who made the Quran, claim that Allah will take whatever Satan he put in the mouth of Muhammad. <clears throat> and you know what I'm talking about, right? This is a satan satanic verses. So Allah will take whatever is in the Quran. What about what, what Muhammad, he already allowed them to do because as you see, it's not only the Quran, it is what Muhammad say. So as long they agree that Muhammad was under the control of Satan for 40 days, in 40 days, how many false satanic law Muhammad he gave to his followers? The Quran says Allah will take whatever but, whatever Satan, Shaitan but in the mouth of Muhammad as satanic verses, which means he will clean the Quran. And this can be seen in chapter 22, verse number 52. Whoever, when, or whenever, uh, a Satan, he throw uh, satanic verses when Muhammad he recite, okay? Where Muhammad he recite the message, which means the Quran, Satan proposed opposition, uh, which means he is giving him a false recitation for the Quran. So Allah is going to abolish that. Okay, what about the hadith? What about what Muhammad order? Same time, that is a very clear contradiction for what the Quran says. Because as long the Muslims and the Quran and the Hadith admitted that Muhammad was under the control of Satan, then the Quran, all of it, is nothing but a fabrication. Number one, what is my guarantee that this verse itself, the one that says Allah will abolish whatever the Quran, whatever Quran came from Satan, itself is not made by Satan himself? just to make uh, the Muslims relax, just to make the Abdul believe that, don't worry, be happy, we will take it off. All right? So how I can guarantee, as long Muhammad already is under the control of Satan, how I can guarantee that this verse itself, it's not made by Satan? Secondly, why, why the one who made this verse did not tell us which verses Allah will abolish so people, they will learn and they will forget about them? They will not uh, uh, memorize them. They will not follow them. He never said which verses. How we will know which verses now is the one we should not follow and those from Satan? Never mentioned in the Quran. Same time, that is a huge contradiction for the Quran itself. Let us see together. We will take them one by one. Chapter 14, verse number 22. It says, by the way, according to Islam, Satan is a good Muslim. Satan is a Muslim. Actually, Muhammad, he said, I converted my Satan to Islam. Just put that in your mind. Uh, however, still he do his job as a Satan. Uh, here he says that uh, uh, Satan is talking that I call you and you obeyed me. I called you and you obeyed me. Which means he is saying, I have no authority over you unless I call you and you obeyed, obeyed me. If you obey Satan, it's your choice. So how Muhammad was controlled by Satan when the Quran says that you cannot, he cannot control, as you see, and I had no power over you unless I call you and you obey me. And the one who is stating that is the Quran. Quran is saying the, 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 the Satan uh, 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 is saying that, but he, he, he affirmed that, he approved it. The Quran does not deny it. He's saying Satan, he will not do that unless you obey him. So Satan have no power over you unless he call you and you obey him. So what it, what this is mean that Muhammad, he was called by Satan and Muhammad, he obeyed Satan. So the black magic is just a, f a fancy trick 
to, 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 to expose or let us say to cover the lies of Muhammad and why he is obeying Satan and doing satanic behave because the Quran says clearly he cannot do anything unless he call you yes he have but he have no power over you he have no power even any normally human unless he call you and you obey so Muhammad he was called and he obey let us continue now things getting really worse in chapter 15 verse number 42 the Quran says that certainly you shall not have authority Allah talking now over my slaves all right Allah saying to Satan you shall not have any authority over my slaves so his slaves are protected except see would be the word except please so there's exception from the slaves who they will be under the control of Satan and the slaves here talking about is the Muslims not me and you except those who follow you so in order to be controlled by Satan you have to follow Satan by choice so you have no control over my slaves Allah saying except those who follow you follow who Satan then he described who are they those who will follow Satan the Mushrikeen the one who associate God with God or other gods with the true God and those who go astray and the criminals etc and the evil ones so as long as those are the one who will follow Satan and this is the definition of the Quran which one of them Muhammad is he is the criminal he is the mushrikeen he is the evil one which one whatever you choose your prophet doesn't fit to be from the good slaves of Allah because as you see that Satan have no power over the good one then we will go to the uh, 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 more more explanation of Muhammad life to see how Muhammad is really mentally he have a mental illness maybe he have a he's a madman he is a crazy he have he have for sure he have a lot of problems uh, I was posting in the internet and Facebook and someone says to me uh, Christian Prince I think you have to see need to see a physician I said why he said because you are not showing your ID if I don't show my ID I need a physician <laughs> the Muslim terrorists they are waiting for the ID of those who they are exposing the faith of Islam however it's my choice to show my ID or not you want to prove me to be wrong prove me wrong you want to prove me to be crazy prove me to be crazy you want to prove me to be a criminal like your prophet prove it this is not a debate this is not an answer Muslims your prophet according to your Quran he is one of these as you see and he is either a criminal or he is either an evil one or he is either an, a mushrik an infidel so choose one for him you see what the intelligence can prove it's in your book proving that your prophet is a very false man let us let us let us go and study the madness of Muhammad how far it, it, it's, it goes this is uh, Sahih al-Bukhari as you see in the front of your eyes the prophet of Islam he imagined he done things he never did but however things go really crazy to the point he imagined himself having sexual relationship with his wife and they for sure they claim that in the black magic which is proven by science there is no such a thing he imagined himself having sexual intercourse with his wife but he never did so how bad how bad the case of Muhammad was Muhammad he imagined himself having sex with his wife but he was holding the pillow or the goat all night he was doing sex with who is that happen when he is asleep or when he is awake obviously when he's awake because if he is in sleep he's just it's a dream but he is imagining he is a delusional he is seeing things never happen even when he is awake and now you can go and ask any doctor what that means. 
Christ is Lord, Islam is false. I mean to that.